Hey everybody, Tony Mejia here. Welcome back to our Playbook Experts YouTube channel. Playbooksports.com is where you can find all of my pick packages, college, pro, basketball, football when it's in season. we got the UFL coming up at the end of the month. And uh, obviously international soccer that's going on right now and baseball when it arrives. But it is March Madness time and we're going to talk NCAA tournament. Uh, right now, it's uh, all things bubble. Uh, you know, as teams try to frantically get into the field of 68 and uh, also improve their seeding. Uh, big game last night in Milwaukee between Marquette and UConn that I'll dive into. Uh, let me remind you again that you can see all of my work at pb.buzz/tm. And yeah, let's dis uh, discuss this uh, UConn and Marquette game. Also, Iguodaro returned to the lineup for the Golden Eagles, so that was a plus. Uh, but still no Tyler Kolick. The point guard is dealing with an oblique injury. He's trying to get 100% before the Big East and NCAA tournament set in. Certainly Marquette, uh, if he's healthy, should be a top four seed. Uh, and, and they gave a game effort yesterday. UConn had some struggles on the road to be concerned with, but uh, managed to pick up a victory by margin, uh, thanks to Marquette missing its final three-point attempt. Uh, but the uh, Huskies did what they needed to do. Another big game out of Donovan Klingon, the big center. And uh, UConn wins the game of the night in college basketball, uh, improving their uh, their uh, ledger in the Big East as uh, they look headed to the number one seed, potentially the number one overall seed. Uh, so big, big win for them. Big win for Tennessee. They win at South Carolina. Another solid performance from All-American candidate Dalton Connect. Houston, the number one team in the country, survived in Orlando against UCF. They trailed plenty uh, uh, for, I believe, deep into the uh, the, the uh, first half and uh, somewhat in the second half before they started turning things around, hit some big shots and got, got some big stops down the stretch to also cover, depending on where you got the number. Seven and a half was the opener. Uh, Cougars won by eight, and I know some people won on UCF plus eight and a half. So... Uh, it was uh, right on that number uh, between the Cougs and the Knights. We won on our free play on uh, Wednesday night with UCF and Houston staying under the posted total. I gave out 131.5 on the free pick video that uh, will try to stay hot and uh, replicate at the end of this uh, video. But uh, it zoomed up to 133, so everybody won. Good at any number between Houston and UCF under the posted total. Villanova Seton Hall was a double battle, one of two in the Big East on Wednesday night, and the Pirates dealt the Wildcats a tough blow and improved their chances of reaching the NCAAs with a big home win, uh, while it, the Butler Bulldogs held off Xavier in their uh, bubble battle. I don't, I'm not sure either team is going to make the NCAA tournament, but certainly Butler improved its chances beating Sean Miller's Musketeers in Indy. Uh, we, we saw in the uh, SEC also uh, LSU Arkansas play a shootout. TCU won in Morgantown to improve its chances of an at-large bid. The Horned Frogs really need uh, to step up their uh, quad one wins by picking up one more in the Big 12 tournament, but they can only take care of business at this point uh, with the schedule that is in front of them. Jamie Dixon's squad should win. Uh, pardon me, should uh, make the NCAAs with one more win, uh, given how loaded the Big 12 has been all season. Florida Atlantic made huge shots down the stretch to win at North Texas. That was a big win for their resume. Uh, Mean Green have been playing really well, too, and the Owls could not afford a loss. So FAU, uh, right there on the bubble, will have work to do in the American. Uh, Memphis and USF also bubble teams there. The Bulls, uh, with the nation's longest winning streak, have uh, have the top seed uh, in what's going to be an interesting semifinals if all those teams get into uh, into that final four. Um, Mississippi State loses at Texas A&M. I think the Bulldogs are still in, but uh, Tolu Smith had a, a really tough time scoring against the uh, Aggies. You know, Buzz Williams' team also on the bubble. They have work to do. In the SEC tournament, probably need to notch a couple of upsets, given how poorly the second half of the season has gone. And in the 
Mountain West. Utah State moves one step closer to an outright regular season title in a loaded league. They defeated San Jose State uh, by 20. They were laying double digits and covered, hit a bunch of three-pointers, while uh, the, the uh, Fresno State Bulldogs stood no chance against New Mexico on senior night. Jamal Mashburn Jr. Uh, was uh, big, and, and the Lobos hit a ton of threes, ended up covering late, uh, winning by over 20, laying 17 and a half. New Mexico now plays Utah State on Saturday. A win there gets the Lobos into the tournament for sure, while opens the door for the Nevada UNLV winner to get a share of the Mountain West title. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, that was pretty much it in the uh, – in the uh, college basketball world on Wednesday night. Some conference tournaments got going. Uh, you know, in the OEC, it was a, a solid performance from SIU Edwardsville. And uh, now we're in a, a situation where we get afternoon basketball for the rest of the, uh, of the, of the week for, through Selection Sunday. Uh, Georgia Southern and South Alabama tip us off on Thursday in the Sun Belt. We've got some Missouri Valley action out of St. Louis, Missouri State and Murray State up first. Uh, and then the West Coast Conference tips off with Pacific and Pepperdine in first round action. The Horizon League is going on. Um, so and uh, really a, a very interesting time as things tip off. Uh, final games in the um, in the bigger conferences are on tap for tonight and this weekend. In the Pac-12, Arizona will square off against UCLA. Arizona State visits USC. So we'll see what happens in those games. Arizona looks to uh, finish up a Pac-12 regular season title. They would lose the tiebreaker to Washington State, so they have no room for error if the Cougs win out. Arizona has to beat both LA schools this weekend, uh, playing the Bruins at Pauley, and then the Trojans this weekend at Galen Center. Rutgers uh, uh, visits Wisconsin. The Badgers are hoping to be a bubble team uh, on the right side of it as well. And in our free play, we'll go to the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. We're going to fade Siena in Albany at the MVP Center. Uh, the Saints have been one of the worst teams in college basketball all year. They face Niagara, which is on a, a three-game losing streak. Purple Eagles look to get on track there uh, and uh, improve their seating in what's been a very competitive Mac this season. Ride Niagara on the road, laying the seven and a half for our free play. Again, we've been on a nice run with those. Hope to stay hot. Thanks for visiting the Playbook Experts YouTube channel. Uh, again, we'll have a, a show, roundtable show, Talking March Madness with Mark Lawrence, Andy Isco, and a producer Greg De Palma and myself on Friday. So stay tuned for that. We've got these recap videos with free plays at the end of them. Uh, every day from Monday through Friday. So be sure you lock in, like, and subscribe for Playbook Experts at pb.buzz slash TM. I'm Tony Mejia signing off and wishing you the best of luck on this Thursday.